to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join our various gaming groups as we play the 5th Edition of Dungeons & Dragons. And maybe just hang out and chat about gaming in general. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. All right. So, so I like how we got partial black and white, but then we're adding color parts. That's yep, awesome. I threw some more buildings in there because we totally needed it. So, uh, anybody want to recap where we left off and what swag you've already stolen successfully? I still feel sad that the little jelly monster is still trapped in this little box over here. You mean acquired? Oh, stealing. Really? stealing is such a harsh term. I'm like, did I write any of this down? I don't I don't recall the details off the top of my head, so I know we didn't I'm get a trying. pet. No. <laughs> that's far as we had an we option took... to have a pet and y'all didn't get it? <gasps> <laughs> Tempted. Yeah. I'm just thinking that this pet wasn't gonna be very cooperative. I don't think it was housebroken. It, this is true. It was definitely not housebroken. And it had its own pet bones though. So uh, we're last we left off, the Golden Crucible is paying you guys to go in there and steal the illicit alchemist secret recipes, which you guys totally got That's in right. there and found. You right. uh, discovered that inside his laboratory where he has these huge vats of who knows what, because literally our alchemist did not figure out, who knows what is being manufactured in his uber, uber kitchen aids of alchemy. Totally kitchen aids of alchemy. Just like going into the <laughs> sewers, right? Uh, well, he's he's making stuff, and some's going straight down that big sewer drain there that looks totally like a shower drain, but you know, ten feet wide. The resistance is always in need of resources. And over here in this you little cube is a living ooze and like entity inside there that was totally responsive to our boomkin's uh, flirting. Yeah, but not in the right way. <laughs> and I miss flirting. Oh, I miss all the good stuff, guys. He's flirting with gelatinous ooze. I like gelatinous ooze. I mean, I, I, it's my typical dating talent. I just wore it down. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody likes a boom kick if they know how to bellow. And uh, there, there was some rough patches of climbing back on the roof, I recall. As you guys yeah. climbed back, yeah. the, uh, yeah. the back there. But we made but we it. We made it. We yeah, made we got it, it eventually. Yep, yep. And uh, as you guys were up on the roof checking out things, you totally somebody who who was it that that, that made a little too much noise there? We got a seventeen on stealth. Me got a. Yeah, uh, correct. Me. Oh, uh, we got oh, a. Oh, I know uh, it wasn't Gunny and I. It wasn't us this uh, time. <laughs> I think it was and, me. No. Hmm. Apparently, so I, it was Chris. As uh, yeah, there wait. was totally a uh, guard shouting, "Stop! Halt! The watch guard spotted you on the roof!" and. Uh, Chris is totally saying that the next round's plan is uh, the hideous laughter on the guard. That was a good, that's a good plan. That, and that was... Theo's thinking of making an instant smoke bomb. So can 
conveniently, for party's sake, since our missing party members are here, we're gonna totally go snag her tokens for her and Gunny. Because she's totally been fixing Gunny this whole time. That's where she's been. Yeah, she's had plenty right. of time on it. Yeah. He is totally like, poor Gunny was dropped to zero. He needs to be brought back. It, it, it's gonna be a total thing. And I will totally put him in the city square, but I'm sure you want to move somewhere else in the map. So, by the way, this was the building they broke into. And this okay. was the city guard, but last time it's the middle of the night, like, you know, one o'clock-ish at night. There's a little activity on the streets, but it's very, very sparse. And uh, the group had been ducked down inside there for quite a while. You were getting kind of nervous. They were, they were taking way longer than expected. Mainly because that book was well hidden, I recall. <laughs> and uh, you finally Very see wide. them come out on the roof, and somebody makes some noise, and a tile nice. falls down next to the, the watchman. He totally gets his attention. As he's like, oh, who goes there? And the group is ready to spring into action. Originally, our bell caller was about to dive back down the chimney and become a just total living distraction because he couldn't make it to game night, but game night got cancelled that day. <laughs> so, but it worked out the best for everybody. Well, not for Lexi, but everyone else. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Are you wanting me to make a move? Is that what you're wanting me to do? Uh, well, go ahead and put yourself where you would be looking out oh. for the group. I'm assuming you'd be looking out for the group. I mean, you could always be at a bar down the street. Right. Um, oh, just to make sure I understand what's going on, this this black and gray, that's a that's a roof. Uh, yeah. This, this is, is all roof. roof. It's all roof. But no. This is street. Oh. This is street. This is okay, I'm going to be on the street. I'm definitely, Gunny and I, we don't seem like we're roof goers. Um. <laughs> These are rooftops. Other buildings. So there's totally little, little, tiny, tiny between building alleyway walkway here, or a nice decent sized alleyway here. And they're inside this building, or they're on the roof of the building. Uh, they're currently on the roof. They were in the building. Yeah, yeah we're well, right okay. there on the corner. Right there. Oh, but on the roof. Okay. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. I I will be hereish. And Gunny, Gunny will be with me. Is, so, so is this little the... brown thingy here? Is this something we could kind of hide that, behind? That's a manhole cover. Oh, then never mind. No, we'll be kind of there-ish. There-ish okay. seems good. So you're standing right in the middle of the street? Nope, because that'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you We're going to. Side of the street. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be kind of yeah, a little on the side of the street. Uh, I'm gonna hanging on the block. Yeah, yeah. Just Gunny and I are sitting out there. Okay, so so at that very moment, what are you doing to be inconspicuous? Since there happens to be a little little watch member, totally doing his his intersection. I'm I'm going to telepathically kind of tell Gunny to kind of act like he's glitching a little bit, and I'm going to start acting like I'm working on him totem and, and trying to fix whatever's going on. Yeah. Acting like he's glitching. Acting like you're working. He is a well-turned <laughs> machine, which is not getting bullet holes put in him. <laughs> As he's like, I've just been brought back on night. It's not an act. <laughs> Okay, so at that exact moment, the, you hear the officer shout out, look up, and uh, do you kind of follow his eyes, or do you, do you, do you continue your performance? Um, I'm going to kind of look what where he's looking, brought? but still keep you doing what I'm doing, kind of like side-eyeing, so that way if I need to, I can cause a distraction, maybe. Distraction. So do I, I if I see the, the group and I see that he's going to possibly look their direction, that's where he's going, I'm, I'm going to start cussing up a storm and pitching a fit and, like, hitting Gunny but not hurting him. And, like, stupid piece of crap, I just worked on you, blah, 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 but I'm going to tell him telepathically you're a good boy. You're okay. <laughs> 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 and I'm just going to have and, and just fall down. 
draw a distraction. So at that exact moment, as you're doing that, everybody roll it. Initiative. Okay, and this one again, we have to click ourselves first. Yeah. Yeah. Not. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Oh wow! wow. I got a whopping three. (laughs) Yeah, you're flat-footed. Like, what's going on? Remind me again where the initiative is on here. Apparently, I don't remember. It's top, very center. You click on your token and then you hit the word initiative underneath next to your Got armor it. class. Okay. Ooh, nice. Let's you and Callus are. Obviously, you are uh, totally getting ready for things to happen. You know, you're poised, ready to react. Yep. Do you know who I am? Oh, oh, you want me to do something? <laughs> I'm a professional. Sorry, guys, I played this game before. Um, no, it's okay. Okay, so uh, as uh, it looks like Callus actually won on initiative. Oh, even better. Yeah. Okay, yes. Callus. I we chose so where's the copper? He's over there. He, he is right here at the edge, so he was able to see you guys as he's totally swinging his little lantern in your direction. He hasn't yet lit you up and made, made your faces out, but uh, he knows you're obviously there. He knows nothing of the kind. Right. Does he? Does is he probably one of our buddies' friends? Yeah. Like just probably. Are we in our buddies' area? Okay. Uh, you, yeah, you are in your buddies' area, so you probably don't want to kill kill him, but you also don't want to get caught because you know then you got to spend a lot of gold to shut him the fuck up. If he's corruptible, I mean, not all guards are corrupt. I mean, he may be that guy looking to do his job. Yeah, I'm totally stupid beaten. that guy. Uh, and that's let's... like the word. Jim, can you fix my initiative? I, f- I didn't click the token, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, oh go ahead and re-click it, because it won't put you in the turn counter unless. Okay, that's true. Who are the three hockey-looking dudes over here in the alleyway? Did y'all already kill these guys? Oh, interesting you mentioned okay. those guys. Shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Black. They, <laughs> Thought they were dead, guys. <laughs> oh, I see another guy. Oh man. Oh man. Let me move uh, my turn order out of the way. I know. You, it's like sometimes you're not the only one sticking around looking. Remember when you were there last time? There was yeah, some, those uh, guys, the shift guys. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's I do recall they were trying to uh, push for protection money. Yeah. Extortionists, rude. We are the only ones that extort around here. Ex- yeah, didn't they get yeah. that memo? Yes, I, I can't shoot <laughs> the guy. So I that's mean, the you easiest could totally answer. shoot him in the leg and wing him. I mean, what's the yeah. best way to escape somebody is to hamstring him. That's too easy of the answer. So, so <laughs> it would be very, it would be very effective. But I will kind of duck down, sneak down, and then drop down over here. He's okay. kind of at the edge of the wall, looks like. So, uh, oh, he he clearly knows spots you guys. So, are you? Well, you said you, he didn't identify or light us up. He knows there's something up there. Well, he knows right. there's a bunch of people up on the roof. But if right. you just climb down right within the line of sight of him, he's totally gonna see you do that. Well, so the are you... buildings, the buildings in the way a little bit there, right? But I created a smoke bomb, so we could. Yeah, but I'm going first. So. Yeah. <laughs> you could totally hold your action to athletics off the building. I, I mean, I'm assuming you're doing athletics to climb down safely, right? Yeah, but I'm like, Show well, up. yeah, and <laughs> like I said, I'm assuming he's looking this way, so I kind of duck. And sneak and slide down. So, so you're right next to me. Right. When you slide down, you're plain view of the officer. I mean, he sees you coming off the building. While he's looking here. Okay, then fine. <laughs> he's facing this direction. He's going to see some guy <laughs> slink off a building right here. On brand. On brand, though. Well. <laughs> okay. He's got it. Got some good eyesight then, I guess. All right. So it's nighttime, right? It, it is 
It is one o'clock at night. Okay. The the lamps yeah. are lit, giving their soft, pretty glow. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just I'll duck down and slink that way before he gets a good view of us. Okay, so you're staying up on the rooftop and stealth. Sure. Okay, give me your stealth roll. I mean, that's totally you know on par. If you stay up on the roof and creep away with the, the chimney there breaking line of sight. But, right. Well, that was my thought. We're behind the chimney, so it's kind of like duck down before he gets a good view, and then slide over, and he's looking at the the roof, not down the street at her. So, but that's fine. Still, all right, twenty five. Okay, you creep, 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 and uh, apparently everybody who might be able to see you does not see shit as you creep in the perfect gap in the moonlight up on the rooftop. Even your compatriots here practically Wait, lose that of you. Where did he go? As Callus <laughs> <laughs> is running along the edge of the roof and doing his silent, uh, you know, Iosian thing. Yep. Duck down the moonlight below the cliff or the peak of the roof, so I'm not silhouetted, so we're all good. Okay, so Mia. <clears throat> Are we running? Up. You're just standing there. I mean, your, your friend's just climbed know. out of the chimney. Does it look like he's booking it out of here? Uh, well, he's pretty high up on that rooftop, and you kind of lose track of him as you hear the, the ninja woof go yeah, by. I'm still, you don't know what, I'm, where I am. I'm going to attempt to do something stupid to help the maybe people get out. Uh, <clears throat> I am going to try to be shifty and shoot maybe an arcane bolt. Um, I don't know if you can see me where I'm pointing. Can you see me pointing? Nope. Uh, no, nope. You gotta hold it to get a ping. There we go. So well, that's shoot. what I did, but... Oh, okay. Does that work? Right. Ellis was so sneaky. Oh, okay. You're down oh, there. Okay, okay so <laughs> since, since dude's looking this way, right? Uh-huh. I'm gonna shoot an arcane uh-huh. bolt this way-ish. To like you know blow up a little bit of tile because I can't kill him, and my luck I would um, to kind of maybe like hide behind Gunny a little bit and kind of just uh, lob something in this general direction. Yeah, but you'd see the bolt going across. Well, I got nothing else unless we just want me to dance. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, are, you, are, you, are you attempting to deceive him to say, "Hey, look this way"? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just full force it. We're gonna move up a little bit more, and I'm gonna try to help out. We're gonna move out here in the open. Gunny is going to keep glitching, and I'm gonna say I can see this dude, right? You can totally see the dude. He totally. I'm gonna be like, hey, hey, I need some help. Do you have a wrench on you, or whatever the hell you fix it, (laughs) Gnificus? Yeah, before this thing goes ballistic and starts. Yeah, he's gonna uh, he's gonna start. I, I don't think you don't want a that. rampaging. Uh, you don't yep. want another yep. one. It's, it's been a yep. week since we've had a rampaging. You know. Uh, yeah. I need help. Just running through town. Those are never good. And I'm and I'm apologizing profusely in my head to Gunny because I have a feeling I'm going to end up having to tear him apart in a minute just to put him back together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to disassemble one of your arms. Just hold on. Give me either a uh, deception or performance or charm, depending on which one embraces more of the angle you're going. You know, charm if you're doing the officer, I've got a flat tire. You know, uh, flirty, flirty. Performance if you're going to hem it up very hemmy. Or deception if you're basically just lying, gritting through your teeth. Oh. And uh, Gunny's performance, as he's totally doing the robot, the dead. <laughs> um, I, I to... guess I will go performance, because, I mean, I'm not great at any of these, apparently. Ooh, did we find oh. her dump stat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And 18. Let's... As the <laughs> officer... Though the watchman totally is like swinging his little hooded lantern around, he was totally about oh, no, to get in the, the building. But immediately you're like in distress, and your officer help, and and he's like pulled between doing his duty and doing his other duty, which is to protect and serve. And you totally what? have the 
idea that at the very moment, unless something changes, you totally will have his attention. Okay. I mean, you okay. are blocking traffic after all. There is that. Okay. You're blocking what? Traffic. Okay, traffic. She's got a, she's got a uh, steam jack in the middle of, of the street there. That could totally be a problem shortly. Okay. Please run, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and she sends out the special, you know, thief call of <laughs> Kaka! 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 <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's it. I think that's what we're going to do. That's a very helpful thing you're doing. I mean, it it may even provide some advantage to your teammates. I mean, I'd be the best because I'm sure I'm going to jail here soon. (laughs) (laughs) Where's your steam jack license? (laughs) I gotta go. (laughs) (laughs) Doesn't fit in this outfit. Sorry. (laughs) And and immediately he uh, he, he's gonna walk towards you, and he's gonna kind of distractedly look at you in your steam jack and try to assess the situation as well as kind of look at the rooftop there. As he's uh, kind of got super divided attention there, so he's got disadvantage on his perception check. Oh my god. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> if she rolls on perception, he, he doesn't notice this nefarious guy know. standing here that you guys really haven't noticed. Any of these nefarious guys standing there definitely does not notice the rooftop has a whiffy sound. And uh, maybe maybe not noticing much about these two hiding behind the chimney there, but he's definitely noticing there's a big steam jack going <laughs> <laughs> like a bad Disney animatronic. I just visioning Copernicus from <laughs> you know whizzing and and popping, you know. And, and if you guys have not seen Unicorn Force, you need to watch. No, uh, Unicorn Etern. What is it? Eternal uh, unicorn, unicorn warriors, eternal unicorn yeah. warriors. <laughs> Copernicus is this big mechanical steampunk Victorian man. It's cool. Though we we need to see the new one who's got umbrellas for hands. He <laughs> needs an umbrella feature. Okay. So the guard's kind of like super distracted with obviously rolling six on perception and a nine on perception. He's super distracted. As um, something, something, something is happening. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so uh, there's nothing to see at the end of the street here. Nothing to see. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's got a passive perception better than uh, 18, right? I don't um, believe so. Uh, hold on. No. Do I have a passive perception. Uh, I'm 16. He's there. You're close. You're close. Disappears. Apparently, I'm not that percepty. I'm like, mine's 11. Me neither. Yeah, me. I'm like, oh, look at the butterfly. (laughs) That's totally a thing I would do, too. (laughs) Bring the house back. The thing next to the house disappears. Though I do have watchful, which you cannot be uh, surprised while you're uh, conscious. In addition, you have. Advantage on dexterity, saving throws, and wisdom perception checks, and your passive nice. wisdom uh, score so increased by five. So, but, yeah. So. We and we can't be Six, stuck up on in a, in a urban setting or something, right? For yep. ISN yep. Or, yep. If, if an ambush is happening, you basically are not caught flat footed as the old kids yeah. in d Yeah, as long as you're conscious, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll try they this have, game. <laughs> they haven't ambushed you yet. Yet. They're Yay. just watching. With their creepy watching eyes of watching. <laughs> and, uh, boom, Howler, up on the roof. You know, the jig is up. The guard is distracted. You you totally hear Mia's voice and Gunny doing... <laughs> with a little... So I open my mouth to start 
a thing and then hear that and shut my mouth and say, oh, problem solved. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> um, I, uh, oh. Plan has changed. The plan has changed. Give me one moment. I apologize. The copper was totally interested in you guys, and instead the lady with the malfunctioning steam jack has definitely got his attention. Maybe he's even getting flashbacks to back when he was a kid. The steam jack went rogue and murdered many people. <laughs> Oh, right? please don't tear Gunny apart. No, not again. <laughs> <laughs> Just got him back together. Too soon. <laughs> okay, can can I then just slip over the wall on this side here and sneakily climb down out of uh, sight you, of the guard? You can do one or the other. I mean... The snaking is going to be hard because he does still have line of sight on the street there, but you have to athletically get off the, the, the rooftop unless you want to just jump. I mean, D and D falling damage is not that atrocious. It's <laughs> only going to be to other systems falling damage. Or, or uh oh, some, somebody looking at their skill list. Or can I? I... That's good. Can I um, cast Featherfall in the three of us on the roof? Uh, there's only two of you at the moment because your friend ran off. Oh, that's right. I can't. I, but uh, can you cast Featherfall on multiple people? I think it's only one. Is I'm it? a negative one for athletics, just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> and she's totally like, take me with you. <laughs> You're the weight of a feather, but now you have her weight, so you're not a feather. Um, so I can only do it on one person. And we can't sneak down without him seeing us. At the moment. I mean, if yeah, you want... Yeah, gone further enough. You could hold your action for Theo to throw a smoke grenade to block line of sight there. I will and do that. Yeah, so... Because she did say she was going to throw together a smoke bomb. Yeah. Okay. Because I just think it's a waste to make him laugh at the malfunctioning steam jack. So, yeah, I'll wait. So now do you think I should throw it here to create the no. smoke? Like the gunny, like, <laughs> the, like the steam jack is definitely, you know, in need of assistance. Or should I throw it here to try and give us... But then there's like, why is this smoke coming? What do you guys think? Mm. Please don't get me. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's got well. great uh, athletics and aim. She'll, she won't yeah. hit you. She'll, it'll go right where she wants. Well, to. Yeah. the beauty of athletics is not, you know, what I use for, you know, targeting. Huh? That's <laughs> try to hit the cop. Just beat yeah. it. <laughs> if you could go, if you could go far enough, it'd be great. Get it down over here, but well, then nobody be like, knows What's about happening? those guys. I didn't say anything about those guys, but I was saying if she could throw it far enough, yeah, it would be great perfect. to get it here. Then you'd have smoke coming out of the alley, but that's <laughs> a long throw. Yeah, that is a long throw. I think my uh... I'm trying to see what my range is. One sec. Totally looking at her smoke. We'll all, we'll all make little arrows and point in different directions for her. <laughs> trying to Based find it. Away. I know that I made it because, but where on the thingy is? Uh, well, actually, I, I should. Guess. It's only, okay, simple it's, smoke. It's only 55 feet, so actually it's not that bad. I can deploy a... Uh, uh, like I should totally get some game books. Uh, apparently, because <laughs> I can, it ha, you know, to a point within five feet. So apparently, I can't toss this smoke bomb that far. Well, I can remember, only it is an improvised smoke bomb, and you're about <laughs> to be attacked. <clears throat> so more than likely, I'm just going to have to drop it. 
So the question is, do I drop it here or do I drop it here? Is it the kind like Gunny could boot kick it to help us out or it, it explodes <laughs> on impact and it's done? It, it pretty much just explodes on impact. It's basically she whips out her kit and makes it really quick and uh -huh. then throws it down in ninja style, you know, and it explodes. Yeah. Like that. So it's not uh, vanish. And it doesn't, yeah. So if I throw it here, then we can, it's, it's not really going to cause you guys too much issue. Um, and then maybe, uh, we can get down over here. Sure. Go ahead. I'll, I'll act like I don't know what's going on. You've oh. seen me do something <laughs> like this before. No, no. To the cop. I'm going to be like, what the heck is going on? Man? Now he's smoking? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that nice. that's based that that's awesome, sweetie. There's your nickels oh, yeah. worth of special effects. Woohoo! <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> or Michael Bay <laughs> came in for two. <laughs> so, and now so they beat disappear act. We uh beat feet. And uh, so so you've got here? your your partner there is ready to do something, waiting for you to make a distraction. Yep. You've got the alchemical chemicals ready to do their thing where you just gonna go whip, whip, whip and throw it down. No, no, I already made it. Remember, it was at the very last thing at the last. It's in the uh -huh. notes. So all I got to do is I was primed. Okay, so where are you putting it? Um, and how putting... big of a cloud does it make? Apparently, it does uh, five feet. Oh, no, I can throw it up to 20 feet. Oh, no, that's the wrong. That's alchemical acid. Hold on, let me. I'm on the wrong one. Here we go. Something different. <laughs> Did I make smoke or acid? I'm not sure. Five the feet. Fly through the air. Basically. Okay, so it's a five foot square of smoke. Yep. And how far can you throw it? Uh, five feet. <laughs> so basically, I'm just dropping it. Well, you're here, so edge. five feet would be here. Yeah, yep. so do you but that's step okay. It'd make it look like the chimney, like, poof. Hey, that uh, okay, smoke. that's, yeah, okay, then we'll we'll do it right poof. here. The thing is okay, smoke, so and you, you duck back. You smash mm -hmm. it there, so you now have a billowing little five-foot cloud of obscuring smoke. And you diddy mouth this way. And now that she's done the smoke, Oomhowler, what were you holding your action to do? Um, show me your coin, and I will show you I my way. I was the action to, to sneak away. I think, yeah, going straight back is a good idea. Okay, so you're totally going to be sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll your stealth. You have advantage with the smoke bomb, belching uh, smoke. And remember, you guys did see this chimney spit out weird colors of smoke earlier. Mm -hmm. So this is not unnatural for the smoke to come farting out of the stack. Yeah. Uh, wow. Crunch, <laughs> crunch, crunch. Oh. <laughs> That's me being sneaky. As the officer is totally aware that there is a slight smashing glassy sound. And by the way, did uh, Theo want to move anywhere after dropping the smoke? Uh, basically, yeah. I'm headed off the way, you know, to I have to get off this roof. Yeah. You don't have to I mean, move around that obstacle. You guys either. know that this alley is safe to go to. Because I'm totally drawing more squares instead of pink. This alley is where you guys climbed up the building. Yeah, 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 I'm like... So you're only taking a few steps, or are you going your full move? Cause you full got move. Full move. Full move 30. Yeah, I'm trying to... It's not Find lining right up on the squares. Yes, the squares yeah, don't match the map. That's why I was giving you the pointer arrow. Is you drop the smoke and then go running the opposite direction because any distance between the coppers and you is a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, boom. Boom Howler's going to attempt to stealth behind you. Yep. As you totally happen. hear him clinking and clanging and coming. And all of a sudden, I think one of his musical instruments goes prong. <laughs> yeah, it's just something from the other side of the it's, it's factory. A... Does he have trollkin bagpipes? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's 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 my it's it's a it's a um comfort companion bagpipe. 
it, it keeps me calm. As I'm sure Theo just looks at you and your stealthiness, because you're, you're, you're not very stealthy. It's okay. <laughs> hey, We're who am I to judge? <laughs> so, uh, officers totally, you know, showing some care and compassion, saying, uh, ma'am, you, 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 you really should get out of here quickly. As he starts to seem a little on edge, especially when there's lots of noise coming off the rooftop that everybody within a block can hear. <laughs> And uh, top of the order, Callus, you you seem to be invisible. He's not looking in your direction. The cloud of smoke has his attention. Oh wow, you're running. Well, no, that's my base movement is forty. Because you are a ninja, and I will give you when you get up to that spot right there. Even though uh-huh. the dude did roll the natural twenty in his stealth, you do perceive that someone is below you. They seem to be concealing themselves under the lip of the roof. Okay. You don't see them per se, but you are aware that there is someone down there. Okay. They seem to be like you, doing a good job of hiding. And uh, what are you doing for your action? <sighs> don't have a lot of special fun stuff other than shooting really well. <laughs> Athletics off the rooftop, unless you want to stay there. You could always roll a perception. See if maybe there's information to glean from the situation. Yeah. Yeah, let's do a perception. What the hell? As, uh, with just a base perception, you totally hear other whistles. Because remember, the cop last time blew his whistle for backup, and there's Whistles totally closing in from like you know a block apart in every direction. Yeah. Yeah, and a dirty twenty. Uh, dirty twenty. We'll definitely tell you there are three ne'er do wells sitting here watching what's going on. <laughs> Even they are boom boom howlers on the rooftop there, and they're totally snickering and pointing at the smoke cloud at the roof, and snickering at the steam jack doing his robot dance. <laughs> And they're seeming to hide, and they're, they're totally oblivious to the them. fact that you're them all. Them. <laughs> and uh, these near do well. Let's see. They uh, you clearly see that they've got pistols and short swords, and you totally recognize them as the goons that were hassling the shop owner here before. Oh, well, friend yeah, of the right. You know the ones that were hanging out in the alley. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, wanting to, to muscle him for protection money. Alrighty then. And uh, for the moment, you know things are clear. You know, there's a small fire happening like four, four blocks over. It's totally being handled by the fire department. And you do hear that those whistles will take uh, a while for the earliest cop to show up. In fact, it will take at least four turns for the first copper to get here. <laughs> The three watchmen are split pretty far apart at the worst distance ever. <laughs> I have just the thing. Wander well, I mean, they're right. asleep at night. Yeah, I mean, they're all split up doing their duties. There's lots of nefariousness going on out there. Night shift. That, it's always a smaller crew. Pretty yeah. effective stealth roll. I mean, perception roll. Yeah. Okay, so Mia, you've got the copper there. Don't remember. You oh, can man. Oh, go I mean, ahead. See you're trying not to kill him, and it's not lethal. I mean. Um, I am going to talk my way out of this situation, which is not on brand for me. So I'm Wait, going love. to Don't act to like I, I... Inspiration. Huh? Don't forget to check oh, your character sheet. If you have inspiration, you have that little dragon symbol on the top left hand side of your character sheet. Do I? I don't know. Dragon. I don't see a dragon. Let me. me Okay, anyway, we're going back. We're focused. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to fix. It's above your proficiency bonus by your characteristics. It'd be white yeah. if you have it. Oh, well, no, I don't. <laughs> so, click um, it, it I'm turns going to... black. So. Okay. I'm going to 
I, I assume at this point I have Gunny like something open and I'm messing around on the inside of him. I'm gonna act like I fixed something, tell him telepathically like act like act like you just reset. I'm gonna close him up and I'm gonna tell the officer, I got it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We're leaving now. I'm so sorry. Thank As you for your help. Gunny totally does the startup initiative motion. Yeah, <laughs> And, and, and the, then, the watch um, is totally looking at you guys kind of weird, like, okay. <laughs> Hold on, I was trying to measure. Uh, I'm, I'm going to... Oh, there we go. I'll eventually find what I'm looking for. Um, I could only move 30 feet. I'm not, like, callous. Uh -huh. callous but I I'm know, probably going to wonder 30. why he's going this way. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to, Gunny and I, are, we're going to get off the road and start booking it back over to him to figure out, oops, off the road, here we go, to figure out what the heck is, where, why, why is he going this way? And, and he's totally waving that uh, little club he's got, you know, the little truncheon, and he's like, uh, make sure, make sure you, you get home safe, and, you know, keep, keep that steam jack off the street. Yes, yes, sir, operating. officer, yes, sir. As Gunny totally just shrugs at you. I could have took yeah. him. As uh, he goes back... I know, back, we would have killed him, Gunny. He, he goes back to uh, turn around, and he's going to totally perception the shit out of this place here. That, that, that's his job. It's his one job. Oh, he's good at it. And Dirty 20, as he totally does the, miss, miss, come here, come here real quick. And he calls you back. He's definitely Shit. calling you back. Are you coming back? Uh, I'm not coming back. <laughs> he, he's he's uh, pointing at you with the trudgeon in his one hand, and he's waving ooh. you with his left hand to come back to him. Does he look mad? He, he has a weird, quirky look on his face right now. Uh, I still have an action, right? Uh, well, you, he has a not quirky look anymore. on his face? Yeah, and he moves kind of close to you. I'm just going to stay where I am and turn around and be like, okay, and I'm going to hold an arc. I'm going to hold an action if he... Can I do that? If he seems aggressive, uh, I'm going to shoot him with an arcane bolt. Uh, he doesn't seem aggressive. There seems to be like a hint of concern on his face. Oh, okay. Okay, yes? yes. I've got to get home. I'm so afraid he's going to malfunction again before we get back. And, and he, he, he nods his head at that as uh, it is uh, Gargosh's turn. Okay. You guys, uh, if I get arrested, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> As he I clobber or you know makes all kinds of noise going over the roof again. <laughs> can I? Can I? Get, yeah, that's what I want to do. Want okay, to... are you uh, continuing with the idea of feather falling off, or are you just going to athletics that shit? I'm just going to athletics. What's the worst that just can happen? Just need a ten or better. Oh my god, ten or better. This is where I go to jail. That's like a 10. Dirty 20. Yeah. That's great. You literally run to the edge of the building. You grab the lip and just Theo sees you flip off the edge of the building, landing Parkour. beautifully. Loudly, but beautifully. <laughs> Jump, I'll catch you. Aww. I sense <laughs> that that might be what Theo's plan is to do, that you, know, you are her living trampoline. <laughs> So, Theo, what are you doing as you see uh, your friend dive off the edge of the building? Getting, <sighs> getting is good. Well, considering I really only have... <laughs> this is... All right, if I have to re-roll a new character. <laughs> and she's like, don't drop me, as you can roll your athletics with advantage. Yes, I'm going to roll my athletics. Oh. And her better is 
Boom Howler's there with his arms open to catch you like the princess's bride. Okay, let's see. He's got gotcha. you. Woo! Ooh. It's Jane as you like land in yes. his arms and oh. the trollkin cushions you with his arms and puts you down on the ground. Oh. You guys are nicely in the alley now. You feel secure because, you know, you know, you, lo- you lost sight of that uh, watchman over there as, you know, Mia was doing a great job distracting. Yeah, considering I'm negative one, I was like, oh, lordy. <laughs> As the last thing Callus perceives with this awesome perception is both of your teammates just disappeared over the edge of the roof. So you're sure they're clear of the roof. Yeah. And uh, you, you notice from your position, I will totally give you with your perception of 20, that the watch guy totally looked in the alley. He did his perception check. He right. leave his lantern in that direction. Okay. This moment. So Mia, back to you already. How'd that happen so quick? Lots of a quick right. escape happened. I have no idea. Um, Did that? So he oh, no, I... even... Wait, oh, you sorry. skipped me though. Yeah, Did that's just... what I'm saying. Is Callus doing something or? Oh yeah, sorry. Um. So yeah, I am going to like slip back over here and uh, acrobat down off the roof behind whatever person I perceived here. What's that? There's a convenient clothesline to use acrobatics instead of athletic. Yeah, so behind where I perceived where the person was on the roof. Okay, give me your acrobatics for your sexy, sexy landing as all of a sudden you are... Innately aware of the gentleman uh, who was uh, blackmailing his little uh, retainers as you land on the ground. The guy kind of like turns around and goes, what, what? And uh, you recognize this is one of that dude that was in the building blackmailing the owner's thugs. Ah. Totally recognize the little armbands, you know, just rival rival uh, criminal doing what they do. And you totally, when you jump down, realize he was watching everything happening on the street right now. Yep. And as I come down and I land, I'm like, you there, what are you doing in the dark? (laughs) This is the man in the dark. (laughs) And he totally, you can tell on his turn, he's like, you know, doing that whole threatening, pull his pistol out, wave it. I'm a pistolero. Don't fuck with me. (laughs) <laughs> he's scared. Him. He's scared. Okay. But yeah, loud enough that uh, people down the street will be able to hear me when I Ooh, say that. Interesting. Uh, yes. Not uh, not like quietly to him, but like as like you yelling, good kind citizen. Of like, oh my gosh, what are you doing in this out? You know, hiding here. As you see, just a quick <laughs> squint of light from the watchman's lantern wave over this gentleman real quick. Just like that hint of shine of someone shining a light in the background behind somebody. Yep. He was totally unaware of that dude with his uber stealth roll until you landed I'm right sure. on top of him. I'm sure. Thank goodness I saved the officer. <laughs> <laughs> As even Mia is aware that there's a uh, creepy dude hanging out here that you immediately kind of look at and recognize. He must have been hanging right at the corner of the building in perfect cover until he kind of stepped out and did the whole Back off, dude. Um, does it look like the cop is going to handle this? Um, the cop is more interested in you at the moment. Of course he is. <laughs> okay, um, I am going to wait. He's trying to keep you and, safe. Yeah, I'm going to hold my action. If, if a bad guy, not the cop, if a bad guy appears... And is aggressive towards me. I'm going to shoot an arcane bolt at them. Um, and uh, Gunny will maybe do something. But no, Gunny's just going to stay there for now. We're just going to see how this plays out with the cop. And I'm going to go, officer, something feels wrong. And, 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 What's going on? Again, he kind of waves at you to step towards him. He's like, miss, miss, you, you and your steam jack should come this way. 
This is a better street, and he points over this direction. For for you and your steam check, in case he needs further repairs, there's more lights that way. And he kind of makes a gesture. Uh, more lights and, and nods his head. And uh, Do me a favor. Roll an insight check real quick. Okay. This is going to be one of them passive insight checks. Since you're kind of eyeballing the cop and you're sensing danger, I just want to see how much of what you're getting of what he's selling. Okay. Um, oh, no, probably not. It's not real good for Look at that. Oh, oh, probably okay. not if you roll an 18. You get the idea the cop doesn't want you to go where you're going because it seems unsafe ahead. He's okay, okay with you leaving. He's just saying, ma'am, please come this way. You know, it's totally that horror movie story of the killer's behind you in the backseat of your car. Please get out of the car. Okay, yeah. because, because I don't want to leave Callum, but I also don't want to have to kill this cop. Uh, I'm measuring. I'm going to move over back over here. Doop, 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 so I can still. Nope. Hold on. Okay. Well, we well you, you can move on your turn, but you're, are you implying that you're oh. complying with his request? Yes. Yes. I'm going to. I'm going to move over here-ish with Gunny, so that way I can still try to help if Callum needs it, and then I'm getting closer to where my friends were going. Okay, and he tries to move a little closer and kind of pats Gunny on the arm plate and, and kind of nods his head away from the alley you're walking towards. Okay. And he, he, start, he starts to whisper, but you can't quite make out his whisper, but Gunny totally hears this whisper and looks at you and looks at the cop. Kid Gunny like, repeat in his head what he heard? <laughs> uh, Gunny totally you know, can convey to you that uh, he believes... Some thieves are robbing this place, and they're hiding in the alley you're walking towards. I don't want you to be hurt. <laughs> oh man, now I'm curious. But okay, okay, I'm just I'm gonna comply for now, till I know what my friends are doing. Now this has taken a quick turn, all because he rolled well. <laughs> so you moved right over here. Well, she's yeah. implying that she's going to move because it's past uh -oh. her turn. Yeah. Oh, it is. As, uh, as they rolled pretty damn good on that perception to hear the officer, and he's being very insistent, saying, hey, we need to come this way. Dropping and, enough hints. Uh, <laughs> these, these three guys come out and then just totally give the, well, 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 look here. Oh, I think no. I think we got a pair of lovebirds out for a walk with a steam jack. Because <laughs> that's how dates go. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what one does in the world of Iron Kingdoms. And right. uh, they, they totally uh, look at what's going on and look over here and look at Mia and totally look at uh, Gunny and totally look at the watchman and uh, they kind of like turn around and do some uh, little little quick comments to each other as uh, they totally look at Gunny and one of them's like hey haven't I seen that steam junk steam junk before <laughs> And of course, you know, the junk is a total derogatory term for your steam jack. Look, look right there. Isn't, isn't that a pair of wrenches crossed? And Mia kind of probably has a little, little drop of sweat as your gang mark is on Gunny. And that's what they're pointing out in a very subtle way in front of the watchman without saying it in front of the watchman. Mm-hmm. I and, hear you. Uh, they totally <laughs> put their uh, <laughs> pistols and say, I hear more watch coming. How about you uh, hand us your purse and we'll leave you two lovebirds to go fly away. I'm going to look at the cop and be like, give up your purse. Because <laughs> 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 uh, it's not my turn. I can't do anything yet. <laughs> oh. And the cop's totally looking at you like, we're going to thump them. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm not kidding. I will protect you, lady. <laughs> oh, thank you. As uh, it is uh, Boomhaller's turn back in the far off alley where there's something happening. You hear whistles coming. 
There's totally whistles coming. Oh. I mean, they're everybody's fine now. Um, Kel's yeah, disappeared. Yeah, great. Everybody's <laughs> fine now. Now, it's just time to meet back up at headquarters, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you've got Theo. She's got the the formula book that you were here to get, plus some extra goodies. I mean, I mean, you probably heard at least my commotion calling yeah. out. I mean, maybe not what I said, but yeah, you know, some, clearly. Some talking but... on the other side of the building. Yeah, loud talking. Well, I will come around the building. Where, where, where am girlfriend. I? Yeah. That seems to be the thing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a steam... I'm sorry, honey. I left the steam jack at home. <laughs> it's not real love if he will buy you a steam jack. <laughs> so, I quickly, Are you without guys? explaining the plan... Grab Theo's hand and start strolling down the street like we're a couple pulling, dragging her along after me. <laughs> right. A reluctant couple. Okay. <laughs> Theo going along with the room. Yes. It's like, ah, oh, honey, I'm tired. We were out way too late tonight. <laughs> it's, it's hardly even. Night's still young. So I will give you guys the option of which one of you is going to roll the deception skill. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's see. I'm uh, plus three for deception. And you I'm, will get advantage by the other one helping. I'm four. Oh, you go for it then, because uh, yeah. it's also a performance, in my opinion. As We're you guys are totally being to be drunk. criminals and hitting the street and ruffling your clothes and just looking like you're out for a stroll. No, just like, just... we, we're coming home from a long night of partying. Yeah, indeed, wow. it was. As you Christ. guys... Why did a... you let me drink so much, dear? <laughs> this makes you prettier. Aww. <laughs> you smooth talker, you. <laughs> It so makes me prettier. <laughs> Get drunk enough, forget you're a troll. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been that shade. <laughs> As uh, you guys basically step out of the alleyway in perfect, smooth, criminal style, that, no, we have been jumping off rooftops. We've been walking after the night at the opera and not going down that dark alley. <laughs> Okay, and whereabouts are you guys heading? I mean, are you heading to the, the agreed-upon tavern meetup site or back at the headquarters for the, the, your guys? Probably the tavern, because, yeah. I mean, we don't want to... Just in case you're being followed. It's understandable. Yeah. That was over here, right? Uh, oh, yeah, that was, that was a ways over here. Down in the uh, bottom right, bottom right corner, okay. down that direction. So you guys are going to be walking past the intersection of what's going on shortly. Yeah. Be able to pull you guys up. What a cute little couple. Oh, fall off the explosive generator. There's a country music song ready to go in there. Okay, so Cal, if you're in the alleyway, it looks like you're probably going to do something stupid. If you do something stupid, I mean, you with your rifle, him with his pistol. The uh, idiot squad with him, popping out against the watch, with watch whistles coming along. There's totally... Oh, what? I hit enter and it skips over here. <laughs> I'm trying. To, uh, we have whistles coming closer that should be here in five, three, and four rounds yeah. of the backup. So the is, there enough, is there enough space to slide by them, keeping them at gunpoint to come out to here? Uh, yeah, like you could walk in. Alright, so I kind of have them at gunpoint with my rifle. I'm like, I got this one there, officer. 
he was going to cap you from the distance. <laughs> nice. Especially since he had that magic 20 with stealth. The cop did not know he was there until he said so. Yeah. So do me a favor. Give me either a persuasion or deception. I figured you wanted something like that. Um, let's I see. have it Ne'er do well did pop out, and when you point at him, he's got his pistol pointed at you, so it's like, hmm, this seems legit. Yeah. Actually, I'm plus four on both of those. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, so here we go. I mean, here, this poor watchman's just trying ah, to protect. You have advantage, I said, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's an 18, not the 8. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he, he, he looks at you and just waves his lamp in your direction, outlining you, your gun, the guy in the shadows there with his pistol pointed back at you. And he says, um, uh, well done, citizen. Uh, please, please do not shoot each other until I have a chance to uh, deal with And he totally looks back at the three guys with their pistols pointed at him and Mia. This current situation. Now... Kind of give a little, like, wink and a nod to the guy like you know to like towards the alley to the criminal that he needs to get he needs to get get in yeah as uh, it totally looks like he will take you up on that offer since you know whistles are getting a little closer in the distance okay so Mia three guys pistols they're gonna rob your watchman here your boyfriend okay um I'm going to look at my my fellow cop friend and be I don't know why I said fellow, I'm not a cop. I'm gonna look at the cop friend and, and say, Remember sweetness, you said for me not to shoot them. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I am going to go um we don't have my arcane um bolt is on here, so I will just throw a uh, razor wind at them at the one closest to me and then Gunny and I are going to book it um, out of here. Um, okay. So hopefully, hopefully it works. That's right. I totally still have not gotten that on your character sheet, have I? Ugh. Probably not going to hit it. Okay. As you throw Razor Wind out there and uh, do your little... Uh, yeah, I think we may have lost somebody. Or is everybody back? What do you mean? I don't know what we're saying. Uh, I'm back. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Chris Chris lost his sound. But he's back now. Yay. So you cast your razor wind with a little cly gesture as, you know, it. one of the guys ducks as it, like, slashes one of the light posts and sends a little shower of sparks of magic on metal. As the guy's like, she tried to cut my head off. Let's get him. The heck with what the boss said. And you know they, they they you swear under your breath you hear one of them mention your game, and you're just like oh. You oh. And uh, as I'm fleeing, can I tell the cop call me? My <laughs> <laughs> half elf is just blushing, looking at me running away, and Gunny, and then looking back at these near to wells as uh, he he totally looks like uh, he's gonna totally be call- a hero. Because he's a hero. And, I'm holding uh, you, up for a hero. You see him uh, let go of his little club, which has got a little wrap to his wrist, so it dangles there. And he reaches into his coat, his big blue watch coat, and pulls out his watch bl- blunderbuss, which is basically like a sawed-off shotgun. <laughs> he's obviously new to the streets because he has a blunderbuss instead of pistols. And cracks back the uh, hammer on that and is totally going to shoot at uh, these guys. Nice. Nice. And this is his blunderbuss, not the, in fact, spirit comes. Oh, my God. Wow. As um, he fires that blunderbuss off and, uh, damn, that may have actually killed as he totally, nope, doesn't kill him, but blasts the guy with the blunderbuss and uh, wounds him pretty well. I mean, this guy's got like 
crap sticking out of his flesh. He's screaming. This guy here is pretty messed up because I'm trying to paint the map on this guy. And he says, by the name of the watch, you're all under arrest for nefarious business. And the guy's like clutching his chest where he's got bits of, you know, pitted metal coming out of his rib cage, grabbing his thigh where he's got chunks missing from the blunderbuss. And you realize the poor watch guy has just uh, literally shot his blunder. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know, can he reload? Oh, he, he, he yeah. might be able to reload, but it is their turn. Yeah. Is he cute? He he may have been cute in the moonlight when you were looking at him, when you were talking to yeah. things. As the first wounded guy says, you bastard, and pulls the trigger back at him, shooting at him and hitting him. Oh. <gasps> Not sweet face. Just enough. I'm Captain America seven over there. points of damage as it put the bullet in his guts, and he's just oh. like, Ugh. Oh, man. And this guy totally is running off after being, you know, almost killed in one shot. He's, he's not stupid. This guy is totally going to shoot the Watchmen and say, Oh, I told you we should have come out of the alley. <laughs> Oh, oh man! Oh. oh, only four, only that four, but enough. only four. But oh, so. seven <laughs> plus four is the magic number. And, uh, and he's just so cautious, him, right? He catches another bullet and goes spinning down to the ground, his blunderbuss landing at his feet, oh. and this guy's like, "Stupid watch!" And he's running down the alley as well, and this guy's just like. We just killed the watchman. We're going to be in trouble. And he's running down the alley, but he's running twice to get further away from his friends because he's going to say, I didn't shoot the cop. You shot the cop. <laughs> I and shot this poor sure, guy, totally seeing your note to get the fuck out of town. And he's just like, totally does that whole, uh, drops his pistol and runs at full speed down the alleyway. Hoping not to get shot in the back. Can we tell, is he dead dead, or is he just unconscious? Nobody can tell from this, because he had to get closer and check him. I mean, literally, he did just get dropped to zero. If somebody was to do some life-saving medicine very quickly, he could Our, be But safe. we're not close enough, so... Because <clears throat> I, I think I have... gunfire now. Yeah, Whoa. we should be rushing to... Blunderbuss echoes down the street. I mean, it's it's a shotgun. Because I'm plus shotgun. three for medicine. Can I can I do like a whistle, even if it's not on my turn? Like, do we have a signal if one of us is hurt? Truly, as a gang, we have like a, a signal. I mean, I'm sure you've got that whistle. Everybody knows that neighborhood whistle. We yell so, out oh. real loud. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Something like that. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you've heard gunshots uh, and commotion, so, you know, you, something's up. You, you totally heard a gunshot that you don't recognize, which was the blunderbuss, and then a couple pistols go pow, pow, pow. So, Boom Howler, you hear lots of gunfire going on da down in the uh, trouble place. As you guys are totally in character, are you just uh, walking down the street? Down the street? You know, I don't think it's out of character when you hear gunshots to run towards them. <laughs> um, Especially on date night. Yeah, exactly. You look um, across at your lover and say, darling, there may be something interesting and amusing happening down the street. It, Perhaps some reenactors. We had dinner, now it's the show. Let's go. <laughs> so you're walking your basic speed or are you hustling and double running? Um, I'm going to go ahead and double run. Like, oh my gosh, what's happening? <gasps> I that would totally curious. help you out. Here's your 60 feet. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Oops, I need to get back on the... <laughs> Sorry. That's why I was helping you out, because not the actual squares is not the squares. Okay. Yeah, I'll run up here. He is making a plan. I like how Mia's making a plan. And you totally see 
Uh, your buddy here with his rifle, it's Gary Gamming, standing there with his rifle at the end of the uh, alleyway, a dead cop in the street, <laughs> and me screaming, oh. <laughs> and no bad guys in sight. But there's no, no smoke for my area, so. <laughs> and there is a, a large cloud of smoke in this area right here, as well as the rooftop over here. Um, so I would have been traveling with him to try and I, I need yeah. to get to him as soon as possible. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get him and bring you halfway, bring him halfway yeah. with gunny. <laughs> Drag him across the street. You going to pick him up maybe? <laughs> maybe. You could totally use gunny to pick him up. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what gunny's there. Okay, so am I waiting a turn or are we out of turn now? Can I just send Gunny? Uh, still in turn, I think, right? Oh, okay. Yep, still in still yeah. in initiative. In fact, okay. my turn. Let me, let me make things ominous real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. You need to give me a beverage. You're gonna. Oh, I was yeah. gonna say you're gonna make me leave this poor cop, aren't you? <laughs> are we taking a quick break? Oh no! I was just oh, putting okay. the, how many turns away the other other watch members are. One watch member is getting pretty close down the street. Uh, I don't want to be caught near a dead cop. <laughs> well, if we <laughs> saved him, though, that 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 would be Uber street cred. There, I mean, it does not right. hurt for a bunch of outlaws to save save a cop from some other outlaws. Just saying that that would totally get you street cred with your watch yep. member. Yeah, I mean, the we don't. We're working out. I, I don't approve it. of necessarily killing him, you know, I mean, getting him killed because of, you know. The stupidity? He tried to impress a girl by taking on three armed pistoleros. <laughs> oh, honey, you would have done the same for me. <laughs> yeah, of course I would. to just get her away from the dangerous situation. <laughs> So, my turn? Uh, so, no. what is Callus doing? It looks like no. you ran across to the alleyway where you see the three guys rushing away. One is yep. pretty badly wounded and hobbling and easy to differentiate from the rest of them. He goes up and double taps him. Yep, I'm shooting him in the back. <laughs> okay, takes your shot. What? Are you serious? Yeah. He does have a cop. They shot, they in shot a copper. Oh, oh I thought you were shooting the cop in the back. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. As you totally what? expect him to look and say, Dead and he executes the cop completely. <laughs> I know, I was like, uh. <laughs> Glad I came back. Alright, 19 hit. 19 will definitely hit. Jesus Christ. That's and, it. Uh, what does really? it look like when you execute the guy who only had one hit point left? <laughs> so I just like hit him in the back of the neck, which sends him head over heels, flop flat on the ground. Bleed out. You see him hit the puddle and bleed, and they're just like, "Later, dude." <laughs> just, you're on your own. Really, I couldn't have rolled any lower. <laughs> Two, a one, and plus my four. Like really. <laughs> Bare minimum roll, but it's more than one point, so that works. And as I do that, I'm like, Wait, you get Stop. to re-roll ones, right? Well, not for damage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm trying so, to help. And as, of course, as I do that, I'm like, Stop! Halt! <laughs> you, Wait. <laughs> you criminals. <laughs> you shot a watch member. How dare yes. you? Yeah, so, you know, a little theatrics there. As Just a, in case there's any watch anywhere nearby that might hear or see. As a single window opens up and someone's witnessing all of this and just screams. The watch. Someone shot the watch. And that's a good place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. 
please follow us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash CPPN to never miss a show or stream.